Hello everyone, I'm Bets Golden. Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanna to share with you something that's uh, new to me. It's a weaving card, and these are weaving card dies. It's something I haven't seen before, and I found this at the Click Kit as part of their handmade Christmas series. I actually bought this die because I wanted a di another die that went with it. But when I, this came, I was intrigued. I'm like, what in the world am I supposed to do with this? And then I figured it out. So it comes with three dies and we're gonna put together um, a card today using this and it's weaving and it, it's pretty cool. So you run it through the die cut machine. I did this with a, just Nina um, cardstock, and you're left with this. So I'm using the bigger one. And what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna take some twine, or actually, if you wanna take a thinner type fiber, you can. I'm just using this because it's what I have. And you just start to wrap it around. You leave a kind of a big tail on one end, and you just wrap it around like so. Once you get it all the way wrapped, you're gonna take and make sure you leave plenty of tail on the other end as well. And then you're going to flip it over like so, and you don't want it too tight, but you definitely don't want it falling off of the little ends, and you're gonna tie a knot in the back. Then you can go away and just cut away all that excess right there. And now you are ready to start to weave. You can use any kind of fiber you want, yarn, ribbon, even bits of paper. I'll show you a couple examples in the end. For this, I'm gonna go ahead and just use this candy apple stripe ribbon. And you just go over, under, over, under, over, under. Clip off the end. I like to leave a pretty nice size tail. And then you're gonna do the same process again, but instead of starting, for example, I started under this first, I'm gonna start over and then go under. So I'm gonna alternate between my weaves. All right, so once you get it all weaved through, then we have to go and straighten it up. So you're just gonna want to pull your ribbon down to the very bottom. You're gonna flip it over and you're gonna use some tape to hold it in place. I'm just gonna use some washi tape. And this isn't necessarily gonna hold it forever, but since we're going to be adhering it onto a card base, this will work long enough to get it down and the glue that we use to adhere it to the card base is what's really going to hold it in place. And there we go, that is what this weaved background looks like. And as you can tell, the contrasting lines are really nice. 
let's go ahead and put it on a card front. I already have this one created. It's an A2 size, so it's, it's five and a half by 4.25, and I'm just gonna put it right on there like that. I'm going to use some of my art glitter glue to adhere this, and this is when these back pieces, this is when it's going to um, get that permanent stain power. And then I'm not quite done yet. I actually want to take a um, centerpiece on this and just make it almost use this like a piece of pattern paper. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this sticker palette. And everything I'm using is from Echo Park on this, with the exception of the ribbon, of course, but the pattern paper and the stickers. So I'm going to use this sticker right here of Santa with his reindeer. And I'm gonna actually use it on some pop dots. I don't like how it looks just stuck on there. So I'm going to powder down the back to remove that stickiness from it. Then I'm gonna take some foam tape and just make it a dimensional piece at this point. There we go, put that right in the center as the center piece and fold it on over. That's a cute little weave card. And the inside, I just did that. Let me show you a couple different examples of what you can do with this weave. I went ahead and um, for this one, I didn't go up. This is the first time that I've gone all the way up on the weave card itself. Normally I stop at about a halfway or a third. So for this one I actually used a couple different kinds of ribbon and then this is a shimmer trim and that's what that looks like just with some different types of fiber in there. And then I tried it with some strips of pattern paper and this is the best I got with that and I, I think that the recommendation I have for this is these I cut down to a fourth inch. Um, I think that with the width of the twine that I used, it needed to be thinner because as you can tell, it's not butted up against the neck. So it's like the closest that I could get them together. I think if this was like a thinner type twine, it would have butted up better or if this was maybe a half inch instead of a fourth inch, it would have butted up better. But that's what it looks like with pattern paper. So you can do paper, ribbon, go, you know, just part way up the weave because that looks pretty cool. Or you can go all the way up. Anyway, I thought that this was fun. Again, I bought this from Stamp Market. Um, Really, I got it to use a different die because there are two dies that came with it. And I really enjoyed this. This is a great way to use up some of your extra fibers that you may have in your stash. So I hope you enjoyed this video and maybe it gave you some different ideas on how to create some fun cards using a good old fashioned weave technique that we probably learned in grade school. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I certainly hope that you consider doing so. If you have any questions or comments down below, if you're interested in any of the products that I use, please make sure you check out my description box because I will have some links provided for you there. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Until next time, I'm Bats Golden. Happy crafting.